Hi guys, it's Roger and Ab here, FirmDiscKingdom.com, and we're going to be talking about the new, recently announced um, Walt Disney World records. So not Walt Disney. I'm going to re- redo that whole thing. Restart. Restart. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, it's Roger and Abe here, FirmDizKingdom.com, and we're going to be discussing here the new Walt Disney record, um, the Legacy Collection, part of Disneyland's 60th um, celebration. So this came out, um, some information came out this week on this one. So I'm just going to bring up the information for everybody so you can see it over on DizKingdom.com. It is a new free disc pack that ties in with the 60th anniversary. Um, Nice looking cover. Looks like you've got Tinkerbell and the castle. So it is a free disc set um, composed by Grammy winning um, Randy Thornton, um, released on May 20th at the Disney in Disneyland, and it's then set to be released um, later at on in August 21st online, etc. So it's exclusive during the 60th um, anniversary, which is pretty cool. Um, so here we go. So we've got there's three different discs, and also it includes a 24 page booklet um, featuring the newly created artwork inspired by Disneyland from Laura Buff, a visual development artist who worked on a number of different things. I'm going to bring up here the um, track listings. So first off, Abe, what do you think about this as a, as a new CD? Uh, it's really cool. Uh, basically, for the 50th anniversary, they had an awesome five-disc set that uh, kind of commemorates the event. So this is the same thing they're doing for the 60th. Um, I do like that it does, aside from the classics, does include current inf- um, music. For example, I did notice that the third disc includes 12 songs from California Adventure. And obviously, a lot of the artwork also includes a lot of the recent uh, films like Big Hero 6 and Frozen yeah. and whatnot. But uh, it's cool. It's definitely a great set uh, for those who are going to go to the 60th anniversary. Uh, it's a nice little memento to pick up and take home with you, not to mention uh, possibly uh, put on your um, iPhones or iPods and listen to them yes. or, or even in the car. As, yeah. as <laughs> well, <laughs> well I, I have the, when I went to Moat Disney World last time, I picked up the, um, like the, the two-pack disc to put it in the car. So we're driving along and sort of, Especially if I'm in the car on my own, I will have put the CD on. So my wife gets in and then she starts moaning at me because I've then got like Pirates of the Caribbean or Haunted Mansion theme going. She goes, why are we listening to it in the car? Or, and then I just start, usually, usually break out into It's a Small World just to annoy her. <laughs> um, but yeah, and I also, um, Disneyland Paris had like one out for the 15th Disney anniversary. So I always love these sort of things, especially if you can get some songs that maybe are more park related you know you can get sort of you know you let it goes and stuff anywhere it's getting stuff that's a little bit different so i'm going to bring up the track listings okay so okay for the first disc we have uh dedication to disneyland all aboard married life okay so uh, we've got um great moments with mr lincoln do you know what i've never ever gone in one of them I've never gone in um, that in any any time ever gone in and seen like the Hall of Presidents. Well, you know what the Hall of Presidents is one thing. Um, however, if you ever do come to um, California, the Disneyland, the the actual Abraham Lincoln in the Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln is one of the most advanced animatronics that have ever been built. All right. um, yeah, it's basically you know his whole body articulates, his eyes move. He, he has like little uh mechanics in his face so you know you'll see his cheekbones moving around and it's 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 pretty interesting um i don't know if it's by far the most advanced now because obviously we've had yeah um like uh, auto animatronics with like the cars ride and you have all these new robotics coming like osimo from honda and stuff but still it's it's really really uh, one of the advanced ones they they have in the park so okay let's have let's dance at disneyland from the plaza gardens is Plaza Gardens a restaurant? Because um, in pa- in Disneyland Paris, Plaza Gardens is a is a, a buffet restaurant. Plaza Gardens, yeah, it, it's uh, Plaza Gardens has a history. I mean, it, it, it's it's been uh, a, a dance uh, place. It's been a restaurant. It's been a nice little hangout spot. Over the years, obviously, it's now sixty oh, yeah. years. It's it's yes. changed over time. Right now, it's 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 still like an eatery and hangout yeah. spot that's right a, now. That's because that's. I know we've the last few times we've been to Disneyland Paris. That's where we tend to have um, dinner in the evenings. There's a nice buffet. Anyway, um, so we've got the Tiki Tiki Room. That's always a good good song to put on. Right. Uh, um, 
Temple of the Forbidden Eye by Indiana Jones. So that's John Williams. Um, Swissy Poker from the Swiss Family Treehouse. Which is no longer existing, obviously, because it's yeah. Tarzan now. <laughs> yeah, and then that leads us on to the next thing. Then you've got like a, a Tarzan medley featuring yeah. um, all the good... I, I always think that's an underrated movie. Oh, yeah, I agree. I agree. And I think definitely. I, I am. Phil Collins, I think, so I doesn't sometimes get enough credit for the, some of the stuff on that. Um, no, Yo-Ho, Yo-Ho, Pirate's Life for Me, The Grim Grinning Ghosts from The Haunted Mansion, and The Bear Band Serenade from The Country Bear Jamboree. Uh, it's all pretty standard stuff. You've got Splash yeah. Mountain Medley. You can't ever go wrong with that. Yeah. And the Great Outdoors Country Bear Vacation Hoedown. Okay. Uh, they got like a Winnie the Pooh Medley. Mm-hmm. Um, the Golden Horse Revival Hello, Everybody. I'm not familiar with that myself. Uh, the go- the Golden Horseshoe uh, Review. It's it's a very classic uh, sh- um, sorry, stage show. Um, so it's kind of like, uh, it's in frontier lands. So it's kind of yeah. like, uh, you know, old, old music, whatever. Go ahead. Keep continue. Uh, we, the yeah, we got, yeah, rainbow, we got Cavern. rainbow caverns. Uh, we've got once upon a dream King Arthur's carousel. And then we've got, Oh, the fantasy land dark ride suite. So this is where they basically looks like they put like a medley together of, um, Peter, Pinocchio's darling journey, Peter Pan's flight, Mr. Toad's wild ride and Alice in Wonderland. Wow, that's a that looks like a pretty interesting collection. Yeah, it almost looks like they're playing everything in, in on, on the ride. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay, so then in disc two we've got the Matterhorn Yodelay Yodelay. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have it's a small world. We have two songs from there. Yeah, you have the the clock parade which plays every fifteen minutes. Yeah, that's then... what you press on Disney Infinity and it comes out, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, we have melody as well yeah. yep steamboat willie uh robert Ro- oh, is it robert no roger rabbit's cartoon spin mm-hmm. okay and uh, we have nation on wheels by the people mover uh miracles of modules um, no, no no the miracles from molecules it's, molecules yeah it, it's all from the adventures through inner space it's an old ride that oh, uh, inner space i remember doing that in epcot when i was a kid yeah that's a long and so people movers also gone out here so all right okay it, classic stuff yeah, um, Star Wars, Star Wars, uh, the big, great, beautiful tomorrow, and Space Mountain thing. Mm-hmm. We also have um, Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters, and looks like a mix, a medley of Submarine Voyage, uh, Finding Nemo. That's quite a yeah. big list of songs there by them. That's about seven or I, eight, I- nine. It kind of looks like they're they're just playing all the music throughout the whole ride, and the ride's a little long, so it makes sense. Yeah, well, they were building that when I was there last. That was the I remember looking through a pot, a peephole to see that being built. Yeah, uh, the throne room from Star Tours. The adventure continues. That's honey, I shrunk the honey, I shrunk the kids. Uh, the audience. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I remember. I used to love that attraction when I was in when it was in Epcot. Yeah. Certainly beats um, Ca- Captain EO, but thankfully they get rid of that as well now. Yeah, that's uh, kind of... Sp- uh, Space Mountain. Yeah, and then... it's probably the newer version, yeah. Yeah, and then we're going to move over to the California Adventure. So we've got um, Suitcase and Dream, which I'm guessing would be like the intro music when you're walking in. Yeah, in Bonavista Street, that's correct. Yeah, he's then, afraid of the big bad wolf. Yeah, that's from Carthay Circle, also in, in the entrance. Yeah, we have My- Monsters Inc. Mike and Sully to the rescue. So it looks like a bit of a uh, yeah, a music level, right? Yeah, uh, Tower of Terror, and always my favourite, Soaring. I love that that song. I love. That oh song. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, and we're carrying on for disc three with the bakery theme. Mm-hmm. Uh, we also have Bugs Life Sweets. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. It's tough to be a oh, Beauty and the Beast. Sorry. Thumb Beauty and the Beast, it's tough to be a bug. Yeah, it's the waiting area music. It's, it's yeah. kind of good. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I mean, I've, I I remember doing that one in Epcot as well. Uh, oh, sorry, Animal Kingdom. Little Mermaid Medley. So we've got a nice collection of bits and pieces there. Uh, Seasons of the Vine Medley. Mm-hmm. Toy Story Mania, a couple of tracks from there. And then California Screaming. That's a cool track. Yeah, and then we have Carlands. Welcome to Radiator Springs. Uh, Fenucci Finucchi, I can't pronounce that very well. Luigi's Flying Tires. And then Radiator Springs Racers. Wow. 
That is some list of tracks. That is a really comprehensive. Yeah, so it's it's, it's it's essentially kind of like they did for the fiftieth. You know, you're playing a lot of parts from the from the uh, the rides and the classics, so it's kind of cool. Yeah, no, that's a real big. Um, I mean, even for me as someone that's not even been to um, California Adventure, I'm looking at that list and going, "There's a lot of good tracks there um, that I haven't got already on a few of my albums." Um, that's the kind of thing I think with a lot of these albums is you kind of if you've got one or two, it's very easy. You know, you you know you've got your haunted mansion and all the rest of it. You kind of got there, but it's good to see them putting in some different different things. I think this is going to be very popular. Oh yeah, I agree. It definitely will be. Yeah, no, that's cool. Yeah. But you know, that, that looks pretty cool. So now there we go. So if you are interested in that um, album, um, let us know. Comment below which track is your favorite. Which one are you um, excited about? Um, anything you want to add on that before we close off that one? No, and something no, I need to pick up. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I need to pick up next time I go out there. <laughs> yes. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and we shall see you guys in another video. Take care, guys. Bye. Okay.